I read that the first thing to do was to turn it upside down. It was actually delivered this way. Open it up and there are some, a couple things inside that I need to take out before I flip it over, pop the box off, and then get to the unpacking and assembly of the actual bike. This is packed in here really well. It's really well, con well cushioned. I'll leave this in. Okay, flip it over, pop the box off, and then we can get to work. You can see some of the nice padding they have on this. This thing is not going to have any damage from shipping, that's for sure. Well, let me get all this packing material off and then we'll do a quick setup. Well, you can't say they don't skip on shipping material. Boy, there's just no way this thing would be damaged in shipping. Solid box, plenty of padding. Okay. This box that I took out when I had it turned upside down contains all the tools and some accessories like the headlight and things like that that get installed. Now, what I did is I went out and watched a video on YouTube, and I'll link it up right here, that was very, very helpful in telling me exactly how to get this set up and assembled. Quickly, what came in the box are all the tools you need to do the installation and setup and a phone holder with a compartment underneath. And so what you should probably do is just take all these, put them back in the bag when you're done, and then stick this in here. And now you're outfitted for travel. You've got all the tools you need to make any adjustments to your bike. It also came with a heavy duty combination lock with five, a five combination, a bike alarm, instruction manual, and a neat hat. Ready to go here, but I'm going to do something totally different than all the other assembly videos. When you watch those, they all start with installing the handlebars because you got to get them out of the way so you can put the wheel on, get the kickstand down, and that's going to stabilize the bike. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the keys and I'm going to pop the battery off and it just comes off by turning it out because I want to get this charging because once I get this set up and tuned up, the next thing I'm going to want to do is go out and bed the brakes and then take a test ride. This is a heavy battery. Well, let me get it plugged in. The charger comes in the box. You know, the other thing I'm doing here that's non-standard is I recognize that I'm kind of a klutz, so I took some of the big chunks of packing and I put those on either side of the bike in case I accidentally fat finger something and knock it over. Because until you get the wheel on and the kickstand down, it's going to be a bit unstable. Now, I'm not going to take you through every step. I'll just tell you what the step is, do it, show you the result, and then move on to the next step. First thing we got to do is put the handlebars on to get them out of the way so then we can install the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And again, you can watch that video I pointed to up above for detailed, detailed step-by-step -step procedures. But we just want to move on. Also, I strongly recommend you use some knee pads to protect your delicate body. This is just up there, put in loose, because I've still got to adjust it once I figure out where the seat is. Now for the scary part, which is putting on the front wheel. So I'm going to take off this protective cover that protects the disc brake and you don't want to touch the disc. Then I'll undo the axle, take off the stand that came with it and gently put this thing on, lining up the, uh, the brake disc in between the, the brake pads down here on the fork. This is the scariest part. The other scary thing, of course, is getting the disc in between the calipers without touching the disc and ensuring it's not bent. Well, 
most of the scary stuff is done. Now I'm going to put the light on that came with the bike, which is nice, and the fender. Uh, I'll be riding this mostly on the beach, so I'm very grateful that they included fenders that's going to keep me dry and comfortable as I cruise down the beach. I'm in the home stretch now. It's just the pedals and then this thing is assembled. Then it's just a matter of going through the safety checks, checking the shifting, the derailleur, check the brakes. I already ran this around and it sounds pretty good, but I, I know I want to tighten up the cable a little bit because it's going to twist and loosen until it gets all set in. And got to do the same thing in the rear. So the pedals are marked left and right, so even an old guy like me can figure this out. Checking out these pedals, I really like the fact that they've got the little knobs up there that's going to keep your, your shoe from slipping off. The last thing I need to do is adjust my seat and adjust the handlebars to the appropriate distance because these do rotate. Now a quick way to adjust your seat, I've found, is to ask yourself what is the inseam on your trousers and then add an inch. Mine is 31, so I will measure from the pedal to the top of the seat and that will be the first place I look to do the adjustment. Okay, 32 is about right there. Tighten this down just a little bit just to hold it in place. Get this out of the way. Make sure the seat is lined up and then finish tightening it down. If this feels loose, you can adjust the screw on the other side. Now I have to deal with the handlebars. Okay, seat is good. I like having a straight posture. I don't like to be hunched forward or lean way back. So I think this is about right for me. I can reach everything nicely. So I'll tighten down all those screws and then we're done. The last step is I'm going to go through and make sure everything's scored away. I'm going to hit all the bolts, screws, make sure they're all tight. Then I'll be ready to go. Check out the video I have linked right here in the corner for my overall thoughts on this bike, why I bought it, and most importantly, how did the test drive go? So check that out. Thanks.